If you are working as a PySpark or Python developer in any data engineering stack on a very huge data process then optimizing PySpark jobs is crucial for improving performance and efficiency. Please stay tuned with this video. Please like, share, comments and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Here are the top 5 PySpark optimization techniques. Partitioning. Properly partitioning data can significantly improve performance by reducing shuffle operations. Use repartition function or coalesce function to control the number of partitions based on the size of your data and available resources. Caching and persistence. Cache intermediate data frame or RDD results in memory using cache function or persist function to avoid recomputation. This is especially beneficial for iterative algorithms or when reusing the same data in multiple operations. Broadcast variables. Use broadcast variables for efficiently sharing read-only data across all nodes in a cluster. This is useful when joining large tables or when a dataset is small enough to fit in memory across all executors. Optimize transformations and actions. Choose appropriate transformations and actions based on your specific use case to minimize unnecessary computations. Use narrow transformations, e.g. map, filter, whenever possible to reduce data shuffling. Cluster configuration. Optimize cluster resources such as memory, cores, and executors based on the workload and available hardware. Adjust the Spark, executor, memory, Spark, executor, cores, and other configuration parameters accordingly. By implementing these techniques thoughtfully and monitoring performance metrics, you can achieve significant improvements in PySpark job execution times and resource utilization. Adjustments may vary depending on your specific data and workload characteristics.